accomplished? Can you talk about how you learned to be a warrior? Um, well, I think a bunch of people were congratulating me. I didn't know what they were talking about at first, and then I got I looked at my phone uh, a few hours ago, and my agent texted me and let me know. So, uh, yeah, he let me know and, and I figured that out that way. So it was pretty neat. What does it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. That's is, I mean, it's a great honor to to get that type of recognition. Uh, so, but I mean. Obviously, I mean, that was last game, so I mean, we, we got to move on to, to this coming game, and, and I mean, we got to be consistent every single week. So that's the biggest thing for me is just being consistent, doing what the coaches asked me, being there for my teammates, just putting it on the field. The coaches gave you 19 tackles against Philly. Have you ever had that many in college, or is that, that career high across all levels? Uh, I think 16 was my highest in college. So, uh, yeah, I've broken that twice this year now, so that's pretty neat. Um, but I, like I said, I mean, we just got to keep running around, making plays on the field. So I'll just keep being consistent every single week and, and communicating with Jalen, getting everybody lined up on defense and, and going and playing ball. Now that you've gone back and seen the interception that you had on tape and stuff like that, what was going through your mind? Uh, well, I know I was getting high load in that situation. Um, so it was just being disciplined and, and, and doing what I've been coached to do, what I've trained to do, what I've practiced doing and just trusting my instincts and then going and getting the ball. You were trying to house it. I mean, you looked like yeah. you were trying to take that back. You looked Absolutely. comfortable with the ball. Yeah, uh, I felt weird having the ball in my hands again. Uh, so, but I mean, it was, it was it was an awesome feeling having it and, and getting a turnover uh, and run down the field with the guys on the defense. So, I mean, every time we get the ball, we're trying to score and, and that's exactly what I was trying to do. And, and everybody was blocking and just didn't quite get it done, but we'll get it done next time. What did you do with the, with the actual football Bucky and Mike and Scott and Sam the ball for you? Do you have a man on to get it on? Um, yeah, I'll probably get a frame. I'll probably get a frame and hang it up at the house. So. Considering how much Sean felt you, how cool is it that you broke his rookie match up record for tackles in a game? Um, well, I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So, I mean, you got to give credit where it's due. And, I mean, he's an awesome guy. Uh, and, and more so, I mean, he's like another another coach out there. And, and I mean, he's right there to, to give us tips and to be honest uh, right as we come off the side, right, right, right as we come onto the sideline after being on the field. So, uh, having him help me and, and, and lead me in, in, in the right direction and, and always help me. I mean, I love the guy. He's, I feel like I've known him for my whole life. And, and it's crazy getting to play with him and, and, and getting coached from him now. And, and actually having that experience is awesome. What, what are some of the critiques he's had for you coming off the field? Like, what is he, what is he finding wrong with how you're playing? If anything. Um, it's mostly just like help. I mean, everybody's everybody's their own player. Uh, so I mean, they're going to do stuff differently, and he understands that. I think, and I think that's the that's what the that's what the nice thing is about our group is we understand we're all different players. We're not like, we're not going to be the same player. We're not going to do things the same way. Um, some might be similar. But just because someone's doing it a different way doesn't mean it's the wrong way. So, I mean, uh, uh, most of it's tips. He's very encouraging. Um, he gives me tips whenever he can give me them or whenever I ask him a question. I mean, he's right there and, and gives me an answer. So uh, he's an extreme, extremely good uh, resource to have. How different, how different does it feel nine games in compared to August? Like, how, how much has it slowed down even in just these three months for you? Um, it's slowed down quite a bit. Um, but then again, I've never really, I've never really felt like I've been caught off guard with anything. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in my abilities and my athleticism and my preparation that, I'm, that it's going to put me in position to make plays on the field on game day. Um, I mean, I'm here for a reason. Um, and like I said, I mean, there's a reason they drafted me uh, as high as they did. And like I said, I just got to be consistent every single week and do what the coach is asking me. Be, stay humble, uh, be the person I am, not change for, for anything different, uh, and just do what I do. You were one of the closer players, obviously. They really liked and looked at the first round pick last year, and Calvin Ridley was in that group. And now, did, did you get a chance to, to talk to him much during the process? And just were, were you kind of anxious about whether or not you would be able to come here? And, and just kind of what was going through your head at that time? Uh, who did I talk to as far as? Well, well, Calvin Ridley, did you get to know him through the process? I actually I met him on my last visit that I had uh, with New England, at New England. Mm -hmm. um, and that was that was pretty neat getting to meet him uh, and talk to him. I mean, he's a good, he's a he's a great guy, uh, and and I mean, I'm happy with everything that he's doing over there in Atlanta. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome getting to play against him this week, and and I mean, all the props to him. But I mean, the whole draft process. I mean, I had uh, 
this is where I want to end up throughout it all. So uh, I had my fingers crossed that, that it was going to end up that way, and, and it did. So, I mean, I'm just grateful for everything, thankful, and, and I'm making the most of it. Layton, how do you approach the season now with seven games left, knowing each and every week you're still in the hunt? The yep. stakes get even higher. You just got to take it one thing at a time, one day at a time. One week at a time. I mean, focus on being one and zero every single week. Not getting, not not focusing on the next week. I mean, we got to be one and zero this week. One and zero during practice. Everything's just like take one play at a time. Obviously, you're gonna have some mess ups in, in, in practice. That's that's why we practice. So, uh, you got to do that. Clean some stuff up from today and move on tomorrow and then the next day. So, uh, not get too far ahead of ourselves. Just take things slow and and, and be be uh, be absolutely resilient in everything everything we do and just go get it. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.